for most of you, if you're just a small business out there, I definitely just recommend basic. That's going to be plenty for you. Um, it comes with a free SSL certificate, which is good. And you get a, do a free domain name with it as well, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and click on select. And here's where maybe you already have a domain of your own that you're currently using. You'd put that in here. But let's assume for today that you're starting off brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase a domain uh, for free as part of this deal. Okay, so I'm just going to use uh, westmcdowellconsultingherecom I always recommend a .com. Uh, there's all these other different extensions, but keep in mind if you like if the one you wanted is taken as a .com and you were to get a .net or a .org, uh, most people are going to just kind of default by going to whatever it is .com, meaning they're going to go to whoever actually owns that domain. So uh, I recommend just coming up with something that we can actually get a .com for, and I'm going to click next. All right, so it's available. Uh, so then you're just going to put in all your information here. All right, so now I'm just going to go down and continue on with uh, with everything they want here. So basically, you get a price break if you buy 36 months in advance. Uh, that's that 295 promo price, and it goes up. You know, if you just pay for 12 months in advance, it's more. If you pay for 24 months, it's more. Um, so I highly recommend just uh, getting the 36 months for, because it's cheaper and because Google actually looks favorably on sites that have prepaid hosting because it makes you look like you're in it for the long haul, not a fly-by-night business. And, you know, these package extras, you can go ahead and get any of these you want to. I, just in the sake of saving money here, I'm just going to turn these off. And you can look into these more if you feel like you want any of them, but I'm going to turn them off for now. I'm actually going to show you one more quick trick here to get even more savings. So if you just go up here toward the back button, there you go. It basically gives you a, an extra little sign-up offer um, for extra savings. So we went from $295 down to $265. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you are paying for 36 months, it, uh, it adds up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Claim Savings. All right, so now you're just going to enter in your credit card information. Okay, so all you missed there was I hit, I filled out the credit card information and I clicked the green submit button and then it takes you to here. So your purchase was a success if it went through and now you'll just click on create account. So you'll just create a password and then retype it. Okay, so once you have that in there, just click on this and then create account. All right, now go to login and you're just going to make sure it's uh, clicked on hosting login and then put in your password and then log in. Now here, just put in your business name. I would just put in, you know, for if this this is kind of a fake business here, but I'll just put in West McDowell Consulting if that was the name of it. And tagline isn't that important. I'm not going to do that. If you want a blog, you can check that. Online store. Um, I'm actually I'm just going to click off of that for now. Uh, that can be filled in later. And I'm going to click on continue. And for this, I would just click on promote my business skills or organization. And how comfortable are you? Are you comfortable with creating websites? Uh, you know, maybe just if you're if you don't know anything at all, just click over here and then continue th to theme selection. And I'm actually going to skip this step for now. Just click on skip the step and then click on get started right here. And I'm going to turn this off. So I'm going to just I'm going to say I do not want privacy and then turn off. OK, so everything is now set up. So in order just to uh, launch WordPress, I'm just going to click on the blue WordPress button. And that's all there was to it. Now we are inside the WordPress dashboard. How easy was that? So basically, if you want to get going and building a site at this point, I always recommend using Elementor Page Builder. And this is what you do to get started. You're just going to go down to Appearance and Themes. And I always recommend using the Astra theme. So in order to do that, just go down here, Add New Theme. And I'm going to search for Astra. And it's a free theme. Just, just click on Install and then activate. And then if you want to get started with adding Elementor to your site to give you a really easy way to build your pages, just go down to plugins, add new, and then search for Elementor. And you're looking for this one right here, Elementor Page Builder, just click on install now and on activate. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.